GoGo's mission is to put smart, portable electric power in the hands of every urban rider across the world. You know, we started GoGo with just one simple idea. How do we electrify two wheelers because they're just everywhere in Asia. You know, people park on the side of the street in a very ad hoc, very jam-packed kind of way. And as we looked around and we said, how are we going to electrify these? And one of the biggest challenges we saw was really about refueling. It sounded like a crazy idea when we first started. A vehicle that we built that don't need refueling, right? Or that don't need recharging. So we started with that simple idea of swap and go, of batteries not included. And from there we grew. So we started concepting the idea of the vehicle. We started looking around and said, okay, if nobody could build the motor, we built the motor. We did it ourselves. We took on the challenge ourselves. And then it escalated to tires, it escalated to wheels, it escalated to suspension. And eventually we built a whole vehicle. Today, we work with over 10 brands in the world and we have 47 different vehicle model types. So if you want a single battery, you know, a little more easy to use, easy to park, easy to handle, we got that. If you want a very sporty, performance oriented, we got that. And then if you want, you know, three wheelers for logistics or for just easy to ride, we got that too. And today, you know, we have half a million riders using the system, you know, and swapping hundreds of thousands of times a day. And that system really is the one that we imagined from day one. For the battery swapping to work at scale, our systems have to deliver uh, reliability, efficiency, and safety. By uh, achieving this, uh, it doesn't take more batteries, it takes smarter batteries. Uh, we combine the uh, steeler energy performance with a built-in uh, computing power and uh, the secure uh, wireless connectivity to ensure every Google's uh, smart battery uh, can connect to any uh, vehicles uh, on the network. By uh, tying them all together, uh, it becomes an intelligent energy platform powered by our machine learning. Uh, the Go network is actually uh, building by a couple of uh, basic units, like uh, the modular design the uh, Go station. So we can easily to one or all the way like a 10 go section is one side. So this uh, address the issue of the limited space and the entire side become one service side to consumers. On the backhand side, we treat the, those uh, uh, modules as one unit. So we can see every single unit, every single slot, every single battery, what's the situation they have. And the system also will report issues, problems, or any uh, alert if needed to the, uh, the backend uh, control center. The control center have the visibility of all the network. So even like Taiwan, we have uh, more than 2,000 sites and uh, we are, have it running 24 hours uh, uh, a day and uh, across seven days a week. There's a one dedicated team that can manage all the sites remotely. So this is actually make the uh, the scaling costs are very manageable and the efficiency will go higher and higher while we have more station on both sides. When we started in Taiwan about six years ago when we deployed, you know, less than 1% of vehicles sold was electric. Today in Taipei, about 20% of all vehicles sold is electric. But what's most amazing about that 20% is that in that 20%, 95% of those vehicles sold is a GoGo or GoGo compatible vehicle, where the system of swap and go has not only proven to be a game changer in changing people's mind and behavior about adopting electric, but also has now become the de facto standard in Taiwan. And we're now working with our partners to deploy our system all over the world. Riding on the street of Taiwan, um, there's a lot of air pollution and scooter is the easiest way to get from place A to B in a uh, new Taipei city or anywhere in Taiwan for that matter. So um, I decided to get a scooter. I would never want to go back to gasoline again because like we're so used to having our go girl and then the riding experience is amazing for us. 
the feeling is different from the the bikes because uh, when you accelerate, the sound is totally different, and when you stop by the traffic light, it's absolutely silent. 我真的超喜欢半夜骑 GoGo 跑去山里面，因为我本来就很喜欢骑车，我很喜欢在山里面骑那个山路的感觉。然后它又没有声音，很安静，然后我觉得相对起来也很安全。然后那个，嗯，所以那是我很享受的一件事情。Yeah, it's a, it's a part of our lives. It's not a hard decision to make to switch to GoGo, because when I got my first test ride of GoGo, I just fell in love with it. In many countries around Asia, over 90% of vehicles registered on the road are actually two-wheelers. And they're absolutely integral to the way that people live, the way they work, and the way they play. So what we're seeking to do at GoGro is bring better solutions to those over half a billion riders and give them the opportunity to choose a better, safer, cleaner, greener solution. We're working with a combination of OEMs as well as uh, pull-through B2B partners, as well as manufacturing partners. So whether it's someone like Hero Motor Corp in, in India or, or Yadi and Dachangjiang in China, whether it's uh, a partner like GoTo in Indonesia who has two million riders on their, uh, on their platform and wants to shift to 100% electric solutions, or whether it's someone like Foxconn who has global scale that can really benefit us as we seek to lower cost, as we seek to expand into many countries. Foxconn is there already. They have factories in China, factories in India, are looking at building factories in Indonesia. And so it's very possible for us to be the technology and the platform provider and not have to worry so much about the hardcore manufacturing work. So we really want to play that technology role, that platform role, and enable as many people as we possibly can to work with us to expand the adoption of electric mobility. It makes me really excited and happy to see a family where, you know, the father is taking the kid to school, where I now know that the family value around sustainability has started. That the kid, as they grow up to be decision makers of tomorrow, when they get to be 18, 19, and they get to decide their vehicle of choice, they're gonna choose electric. And that is what the future lies for all of us as we think about what we have done here to create a system. And that system can repeat itself in a very efficient, very cost-effective way and roll out around big mega cities around Asia to change this half a billion riders behavior, to turn them from gasoline riders to now electric. Not only that, but also as these populations grow up, they get to see the benefit. They get to enjoy and experience why going electric makes sense. The electric revolution has just started. <laughs>